Previously on Ace Attorney Investigations 2. But you did not find the murder weapon, right? Ew! Oh, oh. Ah. oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was so fucking awesome! And now back to wagging my little finger. Hello! The Sneaker B. Back with some more Ace Attorney Investigations 2. When we last left off, we finally got to face off against the best, and we learned that he's really bad at his job. <laughs> And it pretty much all of the intellect seems to be coming from uh, Justine there. We also learned that, that an old acquaintance of Edgeworth, this old assassin with this big black dog, it seems like could be could very well be the killer. It's got to be a reason why they weren't showing the face in that in that one prison cell, right? So it, I'm betting it's not actually that guy, but then who was it that he killed? Uh, we also learned that apparently our client was actually a part of the circus, but he didn't tell us, the little asshole, which has me a little suspicious. By the way, you guys told me um, you didn't think the old man voice is very appropriate for that guy. And as you pointed out, as I and I sort of also learned, old man voice sounds a lot like my Edgeworth voice. Sounds like if Edgeworth were an old man. <laughs> That's old man Edgeworth voice. <laughs> but uh, anyway, he thought that he should have a more sinister sounding kind of gravelly voice. So yeah, in sort of retrospect, that wasn't really the most appropriate voice. I just, whenever I see an old man, I immediately jump to old man voice now. We know an old man can be a fucking badass, all right? Just look at Dog and Rupert 3, all right? That dude was like a fucking Super Saiyan. He shot harpoons out his fucking wrist. Like if Captain Ahab and Spider-Man had a baby, it's fucking amazing. But anyway, looks like we're on to the end part one. Let's get started. March 28th, 3.02 p.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Why did you lie to us? I swear to God. Oh! He just smashed his fist right through the fucking glass and grabs it. Activating Edgeworth Super Strength. Why did you not mention that beforehand? No, but, but I did. Um, what, what, what didn't I mention? <laughs> that you remember the Berry Big Circus? Which, <laughs> also, everyone was like, the thought hit my brain. I was like, is that the same like group that was that we saw in uh justice for all i i couldn't remember though i couldn't remember if that if that was i i didn't think it sounded the same but as you guys confirmed it is it is the it's the same fucking group so i wonder if i'll actually see any of the like the original like people in there you know like the ventula guy or anything well i actually probably not because they're probably all gone by this this point no it's just you know I, i'm not I, I can't call myself a member yet i'm just a new recruit Regardless, that still makes you a member. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, he's dead. <laughs> Case closed, guys. Good job. So why didn't you tell us that before? If I told you I was part of the circus, it would have made me look suspicious, right? Since I also knew Nightly and all that. I didn't think anyone would believe what I had to say. Not even you guys, okay? Did we promise to believe in you? Didn't we? B -b Mr. Edgeworth, you're just kind of scary. I am not. You take that back. <laughs> Man, you're just terrible at getting getting info from people, aren't you, Miles? <laughs> huh. It's none of your concern. I'm very good with people. People like me. I have a very warm personality. Looks like we need to have a talk with him again. So, um, what did you do in the circus, Simon? I, I guess you could say I'm a wild animal tamer. I'm still just an apprentice, though. Wow, that's incredible. So you command lions and tigers to do your bidding, right? No, no nothing crazy like that. No, 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 no way, no way. <laughs> My partner is this little guy right here. Oh, it's that fucking monkey! Oh, oh shit. I remember that monkey. That monkey, I had fucking nightmares about it. <laughs> Uh, it was a, it was a, wasn't it the clown's monkey? Or was it just like a monk, just a monkey in the circus? I, I don't know. But I definitely remember him. I, how could I forget that little monkey face? <laughs> and that makes you a wild animal, t animal tamer? He's more like an organ, gr organ grinder than an animal tamer. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, monkey. Oh, there, the monkey's in there! Hey, money, cut that out. Oh, that's right, money. Because he actually, didn't he, uh, he stole something at some point, right? From Just For All? Or did the monkey belong to the, the guy in the wheelchair? Acro. I, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you guys said, like, Nico has probably tried to block that case from his memory. I, I didn't think it was that bad. The only thing I thought was stupid was the whole fucking cape thing. That shit threw me off the deep end. That still haunts me to this day. 
But I mean, like, characters and everybody else, I thought was fine. Cut that out. He, he can be quite a handful sometimes. No, no, I control you, weird little red-haired man. Oh, my... What? <laughs> oh, my God, I am controlling him. <laughs> what? Uh, what in the... What? <laughs> What? <laughs> was fucking amazing. It's like it was like using his head like a little his pigtails like joysticks or something. <laughs> wow. I think my little my S rare powers are showing again. <laughs> yes. I don't know if because I played a lot of games or just a lot of the stupid jokes. I mean, I don't know. I make a lot of stupid jokes though, so I, I guess ba some of them are bound to to hit the mark. But it, it, I have it does seem sort of weird. Like there is a rather strangely large number of things that I say and then they end up actually happening in the game. It's like I say jokingly. Like what the fuck? <laughs> what am I, do I I can I feel the morphogenetic fields around me or or something? Is that what you've been trying to tell me, Spike Tunesoft? I thought organ grinders control their monkeys, not the other way around. N Down monkey! Yesterday you told us you were just a regular employee, correct? E even if I'm a member of the circus, I'm still legally an employee. Just like any regular company, the ring, ringleader's the boss, and I'm just a grunt. I even have a supervisor. She's the head of the, the wild animal tamer division. Oh, it, is it is it the girl, the the, the blonde hair girl? No matter what kind of fierce creature, they all immediately follow her every command. <laughs> she might even be able to get a handle on Miles here. I am not a wild animal. I'm only a wild animal in the sack. Did you and your supervisor take part in the animal show here at the prison? Yeah, it was just us two. It was only a small operation this time around. Basically, my supervisor takes cent center stage, and I take care of all the dirty work. But, well, I, I did have a tiny part in the performance. So there are only two members of the circus that are related to this case. <laughs> oh, the little, mo oh, little monkey looks sad. So, can you tell me ab about your movements around the prison? Okay, I went, I went to meet Knightley two days ago, around noon. And that's when you gave, gave him the chessboard. That's right. And, and then that night, I started setting up the stage in the courtyard. <laughs> it's so heavy! Why did it make me do manual labor? It was pretty tough going back and forth, moving all the crates by myself. I left everything in. Workroom A, I, I think, just temporary storage. But that's where... They found it, right? Yeah, that's where his dead body was. You did it, didn't you? Or Grimay, that's where the, the body was discovered. Didn't your supervisor help you at all? No way, I, I can't let her do anything like that. That's my job. After I got everything ready, we started rehearsing. When we le left, it was almost midnight. The show was set to start at 8 a.m. on the next day and go on until 10 a.m. The only one who went in and out of where the body was, was found is Mr. Keys. And then the body was found just before the show ended. Hmm. Now I'm starting to see why they arrested you. <laughs> oh, the little monkey's covering his face too. Do you happen to know why you were arrested? It's weird how it happened so fast. I don't think that DePest guy w would have just arrested all you on a whim. <laughs> I mean, he's stupid, but well. Wait, no, no, he is that stupid. Never mind. I wouldn't put it past him though. <laughs> well, maybe it's because of that. When I was moving the crates, I decided to go check up on him. Y you know, nightly. You went directly into the detention block. Did you have per permission? No, I, I had to sneak in. It wasn't a formal visit or anything. Didn't you already see him two days ago? Why Why would you go and do such a thing? Well, we're the only friends either of us ha has had since childhood. Uh oh. He was the same as me. We never had real families. Oh, so they've known each other for a while. I just wanted to talk with him for a bit, so I went to see him. Hmm. You didn't have a family. Um, when I was younger, I lost the only family I had. My father. So is that it? I could totally sympathize with that. I know I know all too well how it feels to lose your father at a young age. So you're the same as Mr. Edgeworth and me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that happened to you too, didn't it? So it's just the two of you talking at that time. Yes, and all the other cells were empty, and there weren't any guards nearby either. Heh <laughs> but then you got found out, and that's why they suspected you. Suspected you. Wait, what? What? Did, did I do something really bad? 
Something must have happened while Mr. Keys and Knightley were, were alone. That's probably the best logic. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's a pretty good grounds to, I think, arrest somebody. I mean, for fuck's sake, he, he snuck in there when he wasn't supposed to, and he was alone with the, the victim, so. Yeah, that's, uh, not quite the close and shut case I was hoping for. Seems I will need to talk with your supervisor as well. She should be here today, too. We're probably in the courtyard. Oh, cool, I guess we will see her. Oh, Regina, that was her name, right? Oh, I'm sorry, it turned out like this, boss. Simon, if there's if there's anything we can do to help, just tell us. What? What? I, I can't do anything in return. Don't you worry about that. We're your allies. That's because we're like birds of a feather, right, Mr. Edward? No, I'm not a bird. I'm a fucking lion. Birds of a feather, huh? I suppose that's true. Yadagarasu. We have sub sufficient information about your past. I, I doubt you had a, a motive to kill Knightley. Rather, you are probably the most affected by his death. And I doubt someone as timid as you could work up the courage to murder someone. Unless you're gonna pull out on guard on us or something. All right, I'll get you out of here. We'll believe in you. <laughs> oh, goody, goody, goody. Well, what do we have here? Starting to get a hang, hang of the whole defense attorney gig? You sound a bit like your old man just now. I did not. Hmm, me, sound like my father. Daddy, why? Why was I never good enough for you? Hehe, <laughs> you would say, the defense attorney's job is to be an ally to the deserted. If you're going to ride that stallion into the sunrise, wait for me, I want him too. Mr. Shields, I think you mean sunset. Heh, <laughs> yeah, of course. I was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Want some candy? <laughs> How long have you had that in your pocket? I don't know, a few months. <laughs> no, thank you. I, I don't like sweets. Oh, really? What a shame. <laughs> How about you, Kay? Actually, even better. How about a hug? That's the best kind of sweet there is. What's wrong with the sunrise? The legendary Yadagrasm is all about the sun. Since the sunlight always exposes the truth. Good fucking lord. For now, let's just head to the prison courtyard and see what we can find there. Do 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 do. Do <laughs> you really walk like that all the time? That is gonna be absolute killer on your back. Ah, oh, the shutter is open. Oh god, if they meant the the one with the the crazy blind assassin. <laughs> oh shit, he's loose! Ah! Dogs and starts chasing Edward. No, no, bad fluffy. Ah! Yes, looks like that. That way leads to the courtyard. So what are we waiting for? Come on, let's get a move on. Holy, wow, now oh, she's fast. Huh, certainly in high spirits. March 28, 3.37 p.m., prison courtyard. So this is the courtyard. Just before the body was discovered, the, the animal show was held here. Looks like, just like a carnival. Man, I bet it, but it was lots of fun. You just carry that camera wherever you go. So I think about it, we haven't, she hasn't whipped out her little, uh, uh, little device yet, has she? Little thief thing. The prisoners were were gathered here when the when the body was found. Oh, and by the way, something I didn't really realize uh, last episode was that uh, originally where it said the warden's office, that was blank. We didn't know what area that was until the warden told us. And then I, and then after that, I was like, oh, okay, I, now I, I, I figured that the, the blue area's gotta be the courtyard. And they just filled it in here. So that means whoever saw the show has an alibi. Updated. Start by checking the area for... Eek! Hey! Ah! Oh, hey, are you? Help me, Mr. Edward! Holy fuck! Wow, that's a seriously loud thumping sound it's making. How hard is an elephant hitting you? <laughs> wow, that elephant's kind of a dick. <laughs> you there! Stop right this instant! Huh. That usually always works. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Sorry, Kay! Every man for himself! <laughs> oh! How <laughs> someone, anyone help! Oh, God, you made it worse, Mr. Edward! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! Uh. <laughs> so what the hell? Uh, oh. Oh, shit. Damn it. I gave I gave K the like the same voice I gave Regina, which I remember I, I remember I think the Regina voice was the like the first time you guys actually said you thought 
like my girl voice actually sounded good. <laughs> We're like, like, oh, hey, that actually sounds, that actually sort of sounds like it could be a girl's voice, maybe. <laughs> Damn it! What am I gonna do? Uh, down to stick down. It's, it's gotta be fucking her, right? Who are? Yep, there she is. Oh shit! I gave her the same voice as Kate. <laughs> I don't know, may I give her sort of a higher pitched one? Looks like you found a new playmate. Good for you, Estique. It wasn't playing around. It was about to eat me. Oh, oh God, that's right. I forgot how sparkly you were. Ooh! Huh? No way. That's impossible. The child doesn't bite. This child doesn't bite. Uh, often. <laughs> Good God. You, somehow you look even younger than you did before. Are your eyes, like, bigger? <laughs> or is your head smaller? What? <laughs> Or maybe it's just because I'm seeing you from a side angle now. Often, huh? <laughs> People normally never get to play with an elephant up close. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> oh, yes, and you're very excitable. I forgot. No, it's not. It's wonderful, right? <laughs> it was simply marvelous, little lady. <laughs> oh, that's right, yes. And she has a way with <laughs> just swaying every man's heart. Ah, Mr. Shields! She, there's no way in hell she's legal. Really? Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, oh, here we go. Er everybody ready? So how about a hug? As thanks. <laughs> Saw that shit coming. Hey, wa wa watch where you swing that thing. Ah! Oh, you watch where you swing your thing! W were you talking to not heap people with your trunk? Ah, uh, it looks like a stick is friends with everyone. Yep. Well, thanks for killing my assistant. I am an assistant of this defense attorney. My name is Miles Edgeworth, and I bow to the... Introduce myself yet? I'm Regina Barry. Nice to meet you. Yep. Ba that's right. Forgot her last name was Barry. I'm the great thief, thief and defense attorney assistant. Assistant's assistant, Kate Faraday. And you sound a little bit like me. <laughs> that's a rather complicated job title. And the one playing with Mr. Elephant is the defense attorney, Mr. Ray Shields. It's not Mr. Elephant. It's a seat. The, the fantastic ele Asian elephant. You're incredible, Regina. You made a stick stop right away. Well, I'm a wild animal tamer after all. I like she actually said that they, she has like all the same uh, animations that she did before, just standing to the side. Not, that's a nice attention to detail. Really? Think you must be Simon's supervisor. Yep, I'm the head of the very big circus wild tamer animal tamer division. The one and only Regina Barry. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm his attorney, Ray Shields. And I don't have my own game yet. Looks like he's the one she has a handle on. Hmm. Yes, she's perfect. What are you mumbling about, Kay? What are you pla What are you scheming? Look at her. She's energetic, fun, fun, living, and healthy. She could be the, the new member of the Yadagrasu. Oh, right. She'd be perfect as a great thief. <laughs> why? I don't... Why does she want it to only be girls? Just... This sounds like fun. We could make a huge ruckus with the animals. <laughs> Actually, she probably would be a good pick because she's, she's very excitable. Oh, I can't make a ruckus. A great thief's supposed to be quiet and sneaky like. <laughs> we, we, we both said exactly the same. We'll be totally perfect. But the show needs a flash. Be, being quiet is kind of boring. Oh, I guess she's not very thief like after all. <laughs> oh, good. Would, that'd be just too awkward a voice. Seems there has been breakdown negotiations. Alright, let's get started, Mr. Edward. Let's check out anything that looks suspicious. I'm checking out that elephant over there first. I bet he fucking killed Knightley. He's obviously got some very violent tendencies. We'll even look through that barbed wire if we have to. Oh, is that where Jurassic Park is? Yes, we need to get, gather more information about the, the case. We should also try talking with anyone connected to the case. Like the one staying right behind me. And this elephant. It's the very big Cirrus Asian elephant, Astique. Supposedly very friendly with, with humans. Supposedly. Don't, don't you demon dare. Don't you demon dare. Doesn't seem very friendly. <laughs> That's right. You know not, animals know not to fuck with Edgeworth. It's your stern gaze, Mr. Edgeworth. It must think you're the boss. Are you comparing me to an animal? That's not what I meant. Um, I think it approves of you. That doesn't make me the least bit happy. <laughs> Hello? Danger! High voltage! Hi, what? Oh, 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 Mr. Edward! Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're an asshole, Mr. Edward. Yeah, I know. These signs really do exist. 
On the other side, you can see what appears to be the detention center's garden. It's just the war Warden Roland said. You can see the garden from, from here, from her office. Oh, I see. I see, okay. If it weren't for this bar barbed wire, we could take a look at the garden on the other side. Hmm. That is Warden Roland's prize garden. I doubt she'd let us in so easily. Hi there. Hello, shiny girl. Head of the Wild Animal Tamer, Tamer Division. Are you Mr. Key's supervisor? That's right, Barry Big Circus was created by my daddy. But daddy died in a murder incident. <laughs> That's right, I remember Phoenix talking about that. Your dad is... God dang, we all have daddy issues, don't we? After that, our current ringmaster made the circus seem bigger. The ringmaster's daddy's close friend. He's like a funny uncle. Oh, the clown. Wow, oh, funny uncle. That's great, Regina. <laughs> Oh god, don't let him show up again. He hurt my insides a little bit. Yep, Uncle Moe. Mo Uncle Moe established the <laughs> I said Moe. <laughs> Although she's pretty Moe, isn't she? That means cute, right? I don't even know that for sure, honestly. Uncle Moe established the Wild Animal Tamer, Magic and Ventriloquist Divisions. Only the Wild Animal Tamer and Ventriloquist Divisions have support subordinates, though. Very big circus is going to become even more fabulous. Yes, yes, that sounds amazing. The way these two are carrying on, I'd hate to put a damper on things. <laughs> she tell us about the animal show. It's an amazing show. It has a story storyline and everything. What's more, it's a love story. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> Stop jumping so much. Ah, very nice. Are you the heroine, Regina Pie? <laughs> nope, the heroine is the show is a seat. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Your party is Regent the Tiger! Oh yeah. Wait, that tiger did that tiger No. No, that was a lot it was a lion that killed somebody. But the t the tiger was from the last one too. They're even using his same little sprite, which <laughs> that's kinda of funny though. I feel like the this picture here doesn't really quite fit in with the the style of an Edgeworth investigation. It's like a little different from how they did it in uh, the previous Phoenix Rex Phoenix Rex games. It's all about forbidden love between elephant and a tiger. What? Uh, elephant and tiger. Uh, forbidden love. Ooh. <laughs> Let's get it. Are we crossing, crossing some species there? That's right. It's what they call a love triangle. Isn't it romantic? It sounds amazing. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? Heroin. I can you go for some heroin right now. A sneak is a female elephant. Um, is since it's a love triangle, shouldn't there be one more animal involved? He's the one who interferes the love between a stick and regent. Is it the monkey against the monkey? Mr. Edgeworth, what do you think it is? Well, this is a circus, perhaps a lion. I think a crow would be nice. <laughs> the third animal is a naughty little monkey. I knew it. <laughs> a naughty little monkey, I knew it was him. The scale suddenly got smaller. Ah, <laughs> uh, money the monkey. Nope, the, the one who plays the role of the monkey is Simon. Oh. Uh. Uh, wait, what? Money is a little too small. What? He's like the villain who tries to break up the love between a stick and regent. How will a stick and regent control their own destiny? Isn't it wonderful? Then at the end of the show, they do it! On spread on stage! Ah! What? What? I, I guess. I thought Mr. Keys just did all the grunt work. I can't feel sorry for Simon if he didn't get to perform on stage. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> So tell me about the preparations for the show. Simon handled everything, so, that, so I don't know that much about it. Simon insisted on, insisted on it. He wanted me to focus on the show. Hmm. Simon's starting to look pretty suspicious here. I don't know. Saying that he insisted on Al have control over what happens. Why would he feel the need to do that? And the fact that he's also a new recruit. I saw Simon doing something near the well, though. The well, if I recall, it was buying the stage. I better go take a look at it later. Even, he even moved this giant kitchen by himself. Simon is such a nice guy. That sounds like something Simon would do. All crying profusely. <laughs> During the preparation, Simon went back and forth between the workroom and the courtyard. We were using the workroom to store our equipment. Only Simon entered that room, so I don't know anything about it. The workroom was the one where we found the dead body. So Simon was the only one who entered the workroom A. Man, the bad news just keeps on coming. 
Mr. Lawyer, please promise me you'll help Simon. Don't worry, despite his looks, Mr. Edgeworth is really amazing. Despite that, don't you mean in addition to my looks? Despite my looks, I just, <laughs> it is what is wrong with the way I look? I look fucking fabulous, thank you. Oh my. Oh, it's me. There you are, Regina, darling. Ah, uh, Miss Rowland. I was looking all over for you. I wanted to have a little chat with you. <laughs> ah. Hello, we don't know much about you either. Could you tell me a little about this prison? Currently, this place is my pride and joy, which I like to call our home. You're nicer to these prisoners than people are to me in real life. When I first came here, this prison was in a terrible state. Terrible state? You mean the prisoners' attitudes? There are no bad children in my family. You mean all those fucking murderers and psychopaths in there? Yeah, no. Well, they're all good boys and girls. It was the environment that was terrible. That's why after giving it a lot of thought, I enlisted the help of the animals. Being together with the animals will soften up even the most hardened criminals. Right now, everyone has returned to their most honest cell. Just take a look at Frankie. He's a model prisoner. A model prisoner who was trying to steal from a dead body. <laughs> There are a lot of model prisoners here, but Frankie is number one. He's proactive with his job training and he helps, uh, helps out with the chores. Don't the other model prisoners do job training and chores? Eh? Oh, don't be silly. They all do, of course. It's just that Frankie, uh, he has his sights set on something different. Huh? Something feels strange. Uh. In any case, he's a very good boy. Please get along with one another. Are you two, like, doing it on the side or something? The enchanting music, the prancing animals, the very big circus is fabulous. I was just saying the same thing about myself earlier. Ooh, if you come here, you can see a show once a month. Really? Then maybe I should... <laughs> She's just thinking about co committing a crime. <laughs> once a month, you said. Is it always the very big circus? Of course, I'm Regina Darling's biggest fan. My darling Regina, she's just so fabulous. Mm, I love her so much. Ah, stop. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, God, stop making out with your dog. <laughs> your dog seems to be enjoying it a little too much, too. She's such a cutie boy, I could just eat her up. She really likes her darling Regina. <laughs> That's why I'm worried about poor little Simon. If he was found guilty, Regina Darling would be heartbroken. Mr. Lawyer, please take care of little Simon. If there's anything I can help with, please don't hesitate to ask. Man, I I really don't know who it is. It's, supposed to, it's gonna be here then. I feel like it just couldn't be the assassin, right? It's just gonna be too, that's just too obvious. But it, I feel like if she really were the, the bad guy, she wouldn't be encouraging me to, to get Simon off, you know? Hey, look around a little more. I see a Oh, God, Sprink's over there. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Oh, long enough. Screw looking well seems handcrafted. Was it built by the inmates? There are a bunch of tools lying around the well. A long piece of rope and a heavy looking, looking weight. It weighs 33 pounds. Is this so right there? Yes, I can read, thank you. There's even a couple of pulleys. Okay, please stop touching other, other people's things. <laughs> St stingy pants, I'm just checking stuff out. It's not like I'm I'm going to take them home with me. You know what? I'm just wondering though. You know what? And the whole out of all the times I've actually hung out with you, have you actually stolen anything ever? And okay, the truth doesn't count. Still these tools, what are they used for? Why are you moving around so weirdly? Oh, it's just my normal standing gesture. Oh my, oh god. <laughs> I seem to be having a slight seizure there. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Turney, how are we doing today? We're doing... Hey, we just met a few moments ago! Oh, right, sorry. My whole concept of time is kind of fucked up because you keep stopping to play the game every fucking few days. Please do forgive me. Ever since I've come here, I've been working on refining my speech. Still haven't figured out what that dot in your forehead is. That's not the only thing that he's refining. <laughs> right now, I'm helping out with the cleanup after the show. Ah, but if there's anything you need, please let me know. You'll have my full cooperation. I'm in the middle of volunteer work right now. As you can see, I am a model prisoner. I have been reborn inside this prison. 
reborn as a thief. That, that, that was, the, the devil made me do it. Yeah, whatever. Tell it to Satan, dirtbag. How can you blame the devil? You're a disgrace to thieves. I, I have nothing to say. I still have much to learn. As a, th as a thief. But as you can see, I've exchanged my bracelet for a working one. I will continue, continue to devote myself to being a model prisoner. Again with model prisoner, give it a rest already. I'm training to pay my debt to society once I become eligible for parole. So you were training instead of watching the animal show? So there were only two people who did not watch the show, Saw it and Dogen. Why did you say anything about Do Dogen earlier? Well, if you asked any inmate in the prison, they'd all think twice before telling you. That person is like the ruler of this place. He's the Anthony Hopkins of this place. Around here, we call him the supplier. The supplier? Like Morgan Freeman's character from Shawshank Redemption? If you ask him nicely, uh, yeah, exactly. He can provide you with anything you want. What? Is that allowed? Normally it's not allowed, but with him, it's another story. He supposedly has a secret route to procure these goods. As a supplier, Dogen would be in a position of power. However, I put all that behind me. All I care about now is applying mud packs to the animals. Mud packs? That sounds gross. I cut I coat the animal's fur with my mineral rich mud packs to give it a beautiful shine. To help with my training, I give them all the animal all the animals in prison. Each and every one of them. Mud. Huh. We relate to that pe that piece of evidence. I should present it to him. Uh uh. That's the rubber glove I dropped. Where did the mud on this glove come from? Oh. Oh, okay. There's mud on it too. Oh, it, yeah, okay. I, I was like, what? What muddy thing do I have? I, I thought it was just blood on there. Ah, that's the mud from my mud packs. At the time, I was practicing applying my mud packs. Tell me when this took place on the day of the incident. As the animal show had started, I'd say it was around 9 a.m. The mud packs turned the animal's bodies pitch black, and my heart was pure white. I was totally engrossed with covering the animals in mud. Person life must be taxing on his stress levels. <laughs> So engrossed in it. Have you, uh, stopped breathing? Thanks to the warden's policies, I can undergo job training here. I owe her a debt of gratitude. But really, I would have loved to show everyone yesterday. You did a wonderful job on the stage, Regina, darling. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. I'm glad all the prisoners came to see it. Well, about that. Just between you and me, not everyone came to see the show. That would be Dogen and Saw It, I, rem I imagine. There were three people who didn't see your show yesterday. Huh? Unbelievable, really. Uh, excuse me, but you just say there were three prisoners who did not see the show? That's right, I took a count and there were three empty seats. And we even had the correct number of seats set out. Does that seem weird to you, Mr. Edgeworth? It does. We had thought that Dogen and Saw were the only two prisoners. Who were, who were not present in the courtyard during the show? And that doesn't add up. Where did the third person go? Further, in, further investigation is needed. Stop scratching your dog. I was having so much fun talking to you, Regina, darling, that I completely forgot. It's time to feed my baby. <laughs> my baby? Oh, that thing. <laughs> I, I think. Oh, what in the fuck? Oh my god, is that really where Jurassic Park is? I knew it! Holy shit, it's a T-Rex with a chainsaw! <laughs> I don't understand! What's this referencing? It's an alligator! Oh, f oh, it is! Uh I was looking. I was looking up at the gate, and I was like, "I don't see anything." Oh, there! Hey, there, big guy. Uh, me gonna eat you, Edward. Uh, no. Just gonna flip you over and rub your tummy. I always find that funny. You can actually, it's like the, the alligators like that when you when you rub their belly. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, Ali, you look cute as ever. Oh, oh, I see. It. Okay, so it is. It is actually pronounced Ali, more than likely. <laughs> and that's, I think you're referring to the dog. Oh, how cute. So her name is Allie. Yup, she's Allie the alligator. She's my favorite out of all my family. Uh, what about the little dog? How lovely. I want to try petting it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Regina darling was to bet me gold, I did, I'll allow it. Uh, are you shitting me? I don't give a crap if you're just a, if you're an animal tamer or not. You would not see me petting a fucking crocodile or alligator. They seem pretty excited. We need to go check out the prison cells, don't we? That's right. Let's look for the third prisoner who didn't see the animal show. Let's get away from these weirdos. <laughs> then just jumps up start, and just starts gnawing on Regina. Regina. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, Ali down! Yeah, all right, it's a good time to leave. March, March 28th, 4 2 p.m., prison hallway. Mr. Edward, I finally found you, sir. I've been looking everywhere for you. I haven't been a part of this case hardly at all. Dead and gums, you, I think the investigation is running smoothly. Judge and, that judge and that prosecutor haven't shown up yet. Oh yeah, I also got your message, sir. What was the result of the examination of the victim's cell? We hit the jackpot, sir. Trace of blood were found on the cell floor. There wasn't a whole lot there, there though. This, sh this should prove about that the murder occurred in the holding cell. Indeed, the probability has increased. However, we still cannot say for certain. Yeah, I mean, if well, if he, was, if he really got killed in the holding cell, I imagine there'd be a lot of blood, especially if it came from a bite wound. I thought you'd say that, sir, so I asked that lab guys to look into it a little further. They're running analysis on the blood, so we'll know soon if it's the victims or not. Way to go, Gummy, good thinking. Detective, you've out, you've outdone yourself. What caused this sudden foresight? I'm actually a little hurt that you su surprised me, sir. <laughs> no, nothing bad comes of this. Once we get the results, we can prove that the scene was the holding cell, which leaves. Finding out how that doggy managed to sneak his way in here. Just leave that to me, pal. Is that other prosecutor is here? We can investigate as much as we want. That's why I brought my secret weapon with me. Secret weapons? Oh, is it the dog? That's right, pal. They've gotten us out a few days before. Oh, no, no. They can't hear Dick Gumshoe's seven secret weapons. Uh, sure, one of them One of them was the metal detector and uh, other stuff. Seven? I thought there was only like three things. Looks like we'll, he'll come in handy. Want to take up his offer, Miles? Ah, damn it. Detective, please allow us to abuse your stupid shit. Sure thing, sir. Oh, God. I've been waiting so long for you to say it to me, sir. I finally feel you. Just shove it. Give it to me, damn it. So I'll give you a rundown. Secret weapon number one. Oh, that trusty metal detector. Yep, I remember that. We're finding all kinds of metallic objects. As his name implies. <laughs> Next secret weapon number two. Everyone's favorite pal. Missile. It's missile. I knew, I thought one of them was the dog. He's a big Sheba. He can track any scent you want. Especially the scent of food. <laughs> He's much cuter than Mr. Dogan's dog. And then secret weapon number three. It's, um, the, this, <laughs> the fishing pole. I thought, yeah, th that was it. I thought that was just those three. Yes, seven? Isn't that a fishing pole? What are you trying to catch? Uh, it was useful in one of the cases. No, no actually, I, I, I just brought my accident. <laughs> Never mind that. What's the next, what's the next detective? Um, that's all of them. <laughs> what the fuck? There's only three of them. What? You call them seven secret weapons, but there's only three of them. That's all I have for now, pal. We use the rest next time. I can't just reveal them all at once. Why do you think they're called secret weapons, pal? <laughs> I'm pretty sure those three were the only ones I've ever seen from you. Doesn't matter. We'll just use the three that he's provided. All right. Which one do you want to use? Of course. Uh, missile. You want missile, sir? It's missile. I know. <laughs> hey, pal. Over here, missile. Ah, <laughs> uh, there he is. <laughs> First, let's just decide what scent he should tra track down. We're searching for the route Do Dogan's dog used to get to the detention center se cell. This route would also have been, also been the same path he used to carry the body to the prison. So if we have him track the scent of the, the body. That should lead us to the path. Ding, ding. Ding, dong. Mm. Oh, you smell, su smells like sweet? Really? All I can smell is the scent of blood. It's a very faint scent. Like cake or something. Mm. Scent of cake from the body. All right, Missile, get a good flavor of that scent, pal. I want cake! I'm going this way! Come on, let's follow after him. That way is, he's heading towards the, sp the special cell. And he's gone straight inside. Yes, let's follow him. March 28th, 424 p.m. Prison cell. Spe prison special cell. 
This is Dogen's cell, but it looks like he's absent at the moment. <laughs> where, where does he keep going? Maybe he's in, being interrogated. What's in here? Shh, I think he's found, found something. <laughs> ah! Go, <laughs> Ah! Ah, that face of his is terrifying. Angry. What could there be in this room? Shadrith, we better take a look. Uh, oh, cookies! Oh, there's a bell. Look at this, Mr. Edgeworth. There's a small chisel here. Not well versed in woodwork, but this seems to be pocket pocket-sized chisel. I was talking, I was looking, trying to look at the bell. Pocket-sized chisel must be convenient to have one wherever you go. Is that from a thief's point of view? No, it's from a great thief's point of view. She didn't see even skip a beat. I was looking at this. How was that? The bell. Okay, what the hell? What the hell, Bell? Stogan's chessboard still has that hound piece on it. Ah, the chessboard has legs. Aren't these things expensive? It can be. It's very good craftsmanship. Stogan playing chess is like, it's kind of unexpected, you know? I figured he'd be more of a Go player or something like that. Go. Pokemon Go. Do you play Go, okay? Go for it. Connect boy. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> wow, we should hang out more often. I'm really good at Go Bang. But that, that's not go. <laughs> go for it! Get it! Ah! It's chisels Dogen's use. More than enough for, for him to murder someone with. Speaking of chisels, it kind of looks like someone used a chisel on your forehead, Mr. Edgeworth. What? What is that supposed to mean? See? That furrow, that furrow between your brows is getting deeper. Looks like, looks just like a carving. I wouldn't leave the subject alone if I were you. Ah. <laughs> huh? Uh, missile my missile baby. Uh, this way you're barking at? I like chocolate. Ah! What? Whoa! Hey! Knock it off, pal! Hey! Whoa! I'm gonna kill you! All the cake is bad for dogs. Say if that's how it's gonna be, I'll eat it all myself. Wow! Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> good for you. But it seems like someone else has a problem with that. <laughs> I'm good with this chocolate. That wasn't fair, Gummy. I wanted to eat it too. I doubt it's wise to eat food you find lying around a prison, especially if a fucking assassin's. Anyway, I guess Missile was barking at the cake, sir. <laughs> that was fucking pointless. Is that police dog going to get the job done? He's fine, pal. He was just following his stomach instead of his nose. Want to track down the center of the pot? The body for real this time, Missile. Follow your nose wherever it goes. Woof, woof! Thanks, this way! Oh, look, he's on. You found something else, sir! Everyone, running in unison! Na, 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 Oh! Now it's this cell. So be Mr. Elbert's cell. I'd like to examine the interior. Detective, call a guard! Also, want to interrogate that parrot over there. I'll do that, sir. You saw something, didn't you, Polly? Ah, Polly didn't see shit, bruh! Don't you lie to me, you dumb bird! Good work, detective. By the way, is J. L. Bird still being held in the disciplinary room? No, he should have already returned. He was present during the new roll call. He may have been assigned to a work someplace else. I see. Well then, maybe examine the cell. Yes, sir. I spy a poster with a, probably a hole behind it. Ah, oh, there's a poster of Mr. L. Bird on the wall. What's what's this next to it? Is this? Is this his weight loss target? Hmm, he was a former boxer. He'll probably continuing with his weight management. Seems he also takes various protein supplements. Muscle protein, hustle protein, weight loss protein. Nothing but protein. Hmm, which weight class was he aiming for? Sandbag shows signs of repeated use. <laughs> oh. Ah, you want a box too, missile? Ah, 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 look at him go. Can't, it can't be. Detective, move this sandbag at once. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Hole underneath it. Oh, it is. A hole. This is. Hey, missile, come back here. I'm going to. Geronimo. Hold it. I'll stop him, sir. Ah, ah, it's too tight for me, sir. I'm too fat. Detective, no. Hold on, I'm coming. Can't be helped. I'll have to wait for her to contact me. Uh. 
Talk to me. Hello, Kay. Are you all right? Don't get so worked up. Right now I'm in the detention center. The detention center? Hell comes out in nightly cell. Uh, oh, wow. All right. Really? Stay where you are. I'm coming over there now. Now, go, go, Edgeworth helicopter. March 8th, March 28th, 5.04 p.m. Detention center holding cell. Ah, ah, gay. Mr. Edgeworth, hey, I really helped out, didn't I? <laughs> Indeed. She doesn't appear to be injured. Floorboards have been ripped out from under the bed, sir. Wow. I did a really shit job examining this room initially. <laughs> I see. Seems we found what we were looking for. The passage between the detention center and pr prison is blocked by solid doors. However, there was a secret underground tunnel beneath it. We're following a sweet scent and arrived here. That means the scent must have come from Knightley's body. Yes, come to think of it, his body was covered in dirt. It may have been caused by passing through the tunnel. Okay, what was the inside of the tunnel like? It was pitch black, so I really couldn't see much, but I took some photos. Please show us. Uh, hmm, this is. Spoons and forks, were these used to dig the tunnel? But more importantly, what are these footprints? These footprints, do they belong to a dog? Well, we did just see a dog go flying in there, didn't we? Or was it just her? This will surely be vital evidence. However, before we can consider that, we have a big problem. A problem? Jay Elbert could use this tunnel to move around freely. Detective, confirm his whereabouts post haste. Perhaps he's. You, you may be right, sir. Ah! It's a big deal! After speaking with the guards, the search for Jay Elbert was carried out immediately. They searched every nook and cran. <laughs> they, they searched every nook and butthole of the detention center in the prison, but not one Elbert. In the end, they found no sign of him. March 28th, 5.34 p.m., detention center. Hallway! Did you contact the police? Yes, ma'am, we've, we've already done that. We set up security perimeter around the prison, ma'am. Right, I think this is the first scandal in our prison's history. We're so sorry, we're so bad at our job. Everybody's bad at their job, which is completely different from before. Mr. Edgeworth, was it? Thank you for finding the escapee's tunnel. But it's a little too late. Mr. Elbert has long since left you. I don't believe he has gone beyond the detention center. There are security gates located at the exit of the detention center. I believe it would have been difficult to get through those, w get through those, wouldn't you agree? Maybe he has another tunnel. We certainly can't deny that possibility, however. Anyway, there's no use in being here now. Please return to your investigation. Yes, we'll do that. You guys get back to your post too. Yes, ma'am. Let it go, you, sir. Oh, God. God, why do you all sound the same? We've got the, the, the results of the blood test you requested. Good work, pal. Oh, here we go. These are the forensics, forensic results of the blood stain found in Nightly Cell. So what's the say, Mr. Edgeworth? Is it going to be Simon? The blood is confirmed to have been... Oh, been Nightly's. Never mind. <laughs> nope. You were expecting a big twist. Wrong, wrong. It was just exactly what we thought it would be. <laughs> I'm shocked. Ah, now, now, hey now, that's good news. We found the blood stain in Nightly Cell and discovered the tunnel the dog used. Furthermore, the, the security camera shows footage of a dog attacking Nightly in his cell. We have all the evidence we need. It's time we ask Dogen a few questions. Dogen, you say? Please use us most caution. That man even has a henchman outside of the prison. Outside of the prison? Is this related to the secret trade routes of the supplier? The police have been searching for Dogen Sedgman for ages. I've also been helping them, but... Wow, you're doing a great job giving him everything he fucking wants here. So that means back then. So he still won't talk? Even after all the trouble you went through to get, get the evidence transferred from the, the precinct? That's right. I don't know how many times I've tried. I can't reward back empty head. That assassin sure is one tough cookie, huh? Oh. You had evidence transferred from the, the precinct. Yes, we borrowed, borrowed all the evidence concerning Dogen. 
I've been interrogating, perso interrogating him personally in my office, but no matter how much evidence we have on him, we can't get a single word out of him. Hmm. <laughs> the warden interrogates him herself. Why go that far? Lose your focus and it'll eat you alive. Be on your guard. I see. Okay, that's what she that's what she means she says invites them to her office. Whoa, you made Uncle Ray a little nervous and a little aroused at the same time. 